Hi, this is Gina from TAPAQ. This video is for customers who have problems when registering their TAPAQ and they get a message that says cannot locate device. What that is caused by is that the PC that they're using doesn't have the necessary driver updated on it for the TAPAQ. So the first thing that I want to make you aware of is that when you installed TAPAQ, we also gave you the drivers. So if you go to your file manager and go into program files and if you have a 64-bit machine it's you also have a program files x86. If you don't then it's going to be under program files. You're going to search for Innovating Solutions LLC TAPIQ and inside there you're going to see a USB drivers.zip file. You're going to want to extract that. So if you right click and do an extract all It'll bring up a um, window where you can choose the destination folder. Um, a lot of systems won't let you unzip into program files, so you're going to need to browse and put it somewhere else. Um, you can put it on your desktop. Sometimes the desktop is a little bit harder to find, or you could actually put it on your C drive and create a new folder but put it somewhere where you, that you know where you're going to be getting it. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it in my C drive and I've got a folder named Gina. I'm just going to unzip it there. Make sure that, um, well you don't have to show extracted files, you just need to extract it. So right now it's doing the extract. Now in the meantime you can start looking for the folder or the program on Windows that is the device manager. On Windows 8, which I have, you can put your mouse in the corner and do a search. Windows 7 and I believe Vista, they have a search when you first hit your Windows icon um, in the bottom left hand corner where you can do a search. So I searched for device manager. I'm going to bring that up. and. This shows all the devices that are connected to your PC. I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug in my TAPAQ here. And you're going to see that it's going to refresh here. The TAPAQ, when normally installed, it has a driver under Universal Serial Bus Controllers, which is USB Serial Converter, and under Ports, Common LPT. And this is the TAPAQ. If, you, if your PC is not working correctly it'll most likely show up somewhere that says other and it'll have probably an explanation exclamation point on it and um, that would be the one that is the TAPAQ and the way that you can tell is by unplugging your TAPAQ and it'll disappear because I'm going to unplug it you're going to see COM50 disappear the ports went away plug it back in and it's going to come back. That's going to let me know that that is the TAPAQ. So now what I'm going to do is right click on it and yours of course won't be under ports but it'll be other say update driver software. Now you're going to want to browse your computer instead of search automatically and I'm going to browse to the place where I extracted the driver and since I put mine under the C drive and under Gina there's the USB driver folder and if you have a 32-bit you're going to expand that minus 64-bit computer and then you're going to select the CDM file and you're going to say OK include subfolders, make sure that's checked, and say next. Now mine says it's the, determine the driver software is up to date. Yours will say that it finished updating it. Now there's actually two devices, so you, you might have to do this twice. You'll notice the other is probably still there, and then you'll just right, right click on it again to update driver software, browse my computer, do the same thing, locate it, expand the right one, 64-bit is mine, CDM, 
that's what I'm going to highlight. Say OK and say Next and it'll update it. Now if you go back to your TAPIQ setup program and try to register again, this time it should say please wait configuring device and you should get a message that it's registered successfully. Okay, that means that you're all ready to go. You can proceed with setting up your Wi-Fi. Now, um, if you have any problems or you need any help, you can email us support at innovating-solutions.com. Thank you.